welcome to Mad Mike's Garage. And me and my son were just getting ready to come down and do his first ever inspection. And we have just encountered a swarm. So this is really cool. And I told him not to, you know, not to be scared because these bees are gentle, but it sounds like a tornado. Um, so I'm gonna shut my pie hole and hopefully and I think these bees are actually settling into this tree right here. So I'm trying to get my bearings. I have some swarm traps, which there's one there, um, if you can see it or not. And then uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to find us a swarm. So I need to get us a box set up here um, and see if I can figure this out but I'm pretty sure from the looks of things everything's gonna settle into this tree <laughs> looks like that's I just got my son his first little bee suit and the first time he's ever had it on so this is actually a really cool experience for him uh, I've never experienced this myself so uh, everybody can hang tight here and I do have a little bit of uh, lemongrass oil See him coming out, bud? Don't get too close. I just put this bee box, this eight frame bee box right here. And we're almost in the middle of the swarm where we're, where we're standing right now. They're all around this tree. Yeah, and some are landing on this tree. Yeah, I, I just put some uh, lemongrass, fresh lemongrass on this box. And I think they should start heading that direction. Um, there's definitely some queen pheromones here. <laughs> so, I'll just bring everybody here to witness this. Because we're right in the middle of the swarm where it's getting ready to converge on this, on this tree. And then here, down here, you can see where the bees are actually... Oh, I see it. Um, the bees are actually right there on the trunk of this tree. They're starting to form up right there. So, right there. So, hopefully, you know, the funny part was I was just getting ready. That's why I have the box and the wagon. Me and my son were literally heading down here to split that hot. Cause I noticed there was a good many bees on the front of it. So I'm hoping I might not have to do anything. Maybe if I just let everything ha handle itself, they'll move right into that box. Um, and, and we won't have to do anything, but uh, this is, actually really awesome so I hope everybody can enjoy all of the swarming because we're in the center of a bee tornado completely gentle bees they're just Maddox what do you think bud talk to the camera buddy I think this is pretty cool it is pretty cool but don't get too like don't get too close just stand back here and watch buddy let them do their thing okay I put a cotton ball with lemongrass right on top of that lid and you can see it's starting to gather up a good many bees right there so um, 
that means there's some queen cells in in these hives i split i already split i had two hives in spring and i split the two hives into four so i have four hives now and i split i split the four hives or the two hives into four about three weeks ago so i was getting ready to go in and make sure i actually and i actually the hives i split i did, i actually put queens i put new queens in those hives so um this is so cool I, I, I'm really, this is something that I, I've never experienced this myself. And then I've also never experienced, um, I mean, for him to have, this is his first bee experience, us walking into a tornado of bees. Max, the bees all came over here. You're hearing all the bees. All the bees left that hive. Ha around half of the bees left that hive. They came over here with a new queen. They're, this is how they're going to do it. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they just move into this box. Um, so we might not have anything to do here. I can hang out. Oh, Dad, look, look, up there. Yeah, that's where the cluster's forming. We'll move everybody close. There's where our cluster's forming in that tree near the top of the tree it's not impossible to get to but Dad, look. The bee has on them. Dad, the bee dance. The bee dance. that's a bee dance huh i showed him what the bee dance was and what it meant earlier so we might have a beekeeper for life here my fellow youtubers but if nothing else i just hope you guys can uh, and girls at home can just enjoy the actual chaos that is this little bee tornado that we started and it might not be the biggest swarm but it's really cool so um, that I want to try this queen's going to be in that ball at the top of that tree son i told my son that i had trouble finding the queen in the in the beehives because my eyes aren't real great and <laughs> so that's what made him want to start helping me with bees because he was that was his job he was gonna help me find the queen and we came down to try to find the queen in whammo here we are in the middle of a, a bee tornado so Ooh, Dad, look, some bees are on yeah. my hand buddy they're they are all over you <laughs> they're on there's like there's probably close to 10 on your on your Ooh. hat uh, yeah. they're all over your body so just be careful because they're just trying they're they're smelling right now trying to figure out what's going on look at all these bees look just down here. we want to put it in the hive but we want to attract them to go that direction so okay we want them to know that this is a good place to make a home. Okay, dude? I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna have to shake them down maybe. I was hoping that the scouts would just say, hey, we found a, we found a new home. Um, I almost backed my truck up to this tree with the bee box on the tailgate. And that might've helped because it had been higher. In fact, I still may do that. So we'll wait till the till the tornado wears off, which is slow. It's starting to slow slow down. There's just a little bit there. And Dad, there's some. Uh, there was a one B on your hat oil. Yeah, you, you had a good many. This is April the 20th in uh, South Central Pennsylvania. Um, this year's been a little earlier than than average from what I've assessed from other people's swarms. So this is pretty early. It's, a, it's supposed to be like 70 today. Beautiful day. So the swarming's about done. The queen is definitely up in that 
and that would be a queen from last year should be last year's queen so um dad can they be sting me through my gloves no they can't they cannot sting you through those gloves then there's been a lot of questions <laughs> a lot of patience involved here so I'm hoping these scouts come back and tell Miss Queenie that they just need to back up here and come down about five feet. Uh, the tree isn't big enough that I can't shake it, so I may have to shake. I may have to shake the limb. Um, I'm about tempted to get some. I could almost go get some brood out of one of them hives and put in there as well. So now that can I scoop up a bee? Good. Just doing their thing, okay. Can we check in there? They're, this is where they need we need to get the queen inside somehow. So Yeah. They're just doing their thing. Oh, so we may we, we may pause the the video here a sec until I figure out how I want to do this. Um, Dad, should we wait? Wait, put wait so some of this on the trees so they no, won't. No, you don't want to smoke the bees now. That's the worst thing you could do is smoke the bees. Um, normally, what they'll do is get a ladder and or something and get up in the tree and they'll scoop the bees out and put them in the box. And then once you get the queen in that in the box down here then the rest of these bees uh, that are flying around will go in so there's a there's a chance they'll go in one of these hives that i have i'm hoping um that would be just too easy if they wouldn't and then uh the split that we were going to do may turn into just a swarm so Ooh, one one tried to go in there they should. They should go in there. That's that's the whole point, son. Can I say hi? You can, but you, you were already on the camera like five times, uh -huh. so saying hi in the middle of the video is a little weird. Don't you think? <laughs> I kind of think it is. I guess since I don't have a bee vac, it's gonna be there's it, unfortunately they didn't form on a branch. If they would have formed on any of these branches, this would have been too easy. But they formed on the trunk of the tree. Um, it's probably about eight feet in the air. Eight, so it's a, I'd have to get a ladder, and then there's really no way. I mean, I can shake them, but then they're not gonna. They're not, there's no way to get them in the box if I shake them. So I might take the lid up there and like kind of scoop the bees onto the lid gently and see if I can get the queen that way. Cause um, this is the, the bee tornado is pretty much done. So you're seeing the size of this, the size of the swarm that you're seeing is right there. So, and it's also hard to tell how many queens are in here. Sometimes there's multiple queens in these swarms, they say. So, um, like I said, this is my first go around with this. So, I think we might keep the camera over here. And I guess I'm going to go over and get a ladder and try to get this swarm in this tree. I'm so happy that this happened on a day that I didn't have to work and I could experience this with with my boy. That was pretty neat, wasn't it, son? I'm gonna go grab a ladder. I'm gonna pause this video temporarily. You know, I might just leave it on. But there's bees definitely checking out the box. Um, but there's also bees checking out a bunch of boxes all over the place right now. So we we don't want to lose them so I think we can just manipulate them into 
<laughs> hanging out here. Alrighty. I'm gonna crawl up into this tree here and attempt to brush some bees into this lid since they're in the middle and then transfer them back into the box and I'll keep doing that until um, I think I get the queen. Boiling out that tree. This is when the 
bees get a little confused. They're flying up because her scent's still in the tree. Even if she isn't in the tree, her scent's still in the tree. Inside. <laughs> I'm still working at this. Uh, no idea how many queens is in here. Um, I do this I get a good pound or so sooner or later I think through default I, I assume I'll have to get her here This little, this little net's working pretty decent. Um, just keep keep at it. The box is looking pretty populated now. So hopefully, Mama Queen Bee didn't get injured. She's in there and she's healthy. Still strong in that tree, but that's pretty common. I have 90% of them in the box now. So I think that's probably the last time I'm gonna bother with that. Um, these, all these bees wouldn't be chilling out like that if that queen was still in that tree. So. I decided to move the box up here in case you haven't noticed it yet. There was a bunch of activity around the back. So I cracked the lid so the bees can get in and out and make their scent known. They should be fine here. Um, show you what's up on top of the hive here uh, or up on top of the tree I mean there's a few but I think that's pretty normal for them to keep coming back to the scent so we'll let we'll let that be what it is um, revisit here I'll give it about 15 20 minutes and see how many more have made it down into the box here well like I said that was my first swarm my son had enough about halfway through uh, I think he got a little uh, worked up I mean he did a good job but a bee got inside his veil it is because he was on his knees and his jackets a little big and uh, I think they were there he was right next to the box and one of them crawled up in he didn't get stung which is good in his first bee experience so that's a good thing but uh i want to show you here quick the i put a secondary box up on this ladder um 
and, and right there's the right there's what's left of the of the swarm I think it's just remnants of the queen pheromone on the branches but one can't be too sure topped her off with just a little bit fresh lemongrass oil um, on the on the entrance um, and I've seen some bees going in and in and out of it already so maybe if there's multiple queens we can snag one of them in here maybe I'm not sure how that works um, but I have to go to a wedding soon so I need to go in shave and get cleaned up um, but I'm so glad I got to experience this with my son I'm glad I got to experience it just for myself um, it seemed like you work your life away and you only have you know yeah, there's bees going in. Definitely bees going in and out there of my swarm box. So I might grab me a strap and see if I can uh, tie this down to that ladder and then tie the ladder to the tree because we got a couple really strong wind gusts during that in the last half hour. So, at any rate. We'll uh, post a follow up here and we'll see. But pretty sure we have. Uh... Okay, <clears throat> YouTube, here's a quick update. And uh, the bees are happily in their, in their new box. I finished shoving the cover over and then I forgot to make a little in closing video. But this will be their first night in their new home. Uh, I don't have a suit on. I don't feel like uh, getting stung. So this is as good as it's going to get. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.